Hello and welcome back to the Surf Miner YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install bungee cord on your server. Or rather servers. As bungee cord is a very powerful tool that allows you to link multiple servers together so players can switch between servers while never leaving the game. To do this you will need at least three servers. One server doesn't act as a game server but will be controlled by bungee cord allowing you to link servers together. This is the hub server. The rest of your servers is link servers. You can do this with as many servers as you want. But of course there's only point to it if that's more than two. I will be demonstrating this tutorial with three linked servers. Let's start with the hub server. This will be the server that strings all your other game servers together. This server needs to run the bungee cord jar. So select it from the drop down and hit save. Once your config has been saved, start up your server. Please note that it will never leave the loading state. But this is good. Now connect to your server using FTP. I will use FileZilla. If you don't know how to access FTP, follow the tutorials on our channel. In your FTP, Bungie Court should have generated a folder called config.yml. Edit this file using a text editor of choice. This file contains a couple of very important settings. We'll go through them now. The first one contains the groups. It's sorted by name and specifies ranks. I'll add myself to the admin rank by changing this name. You can ignore the rest of the lines up until the fallback server. But before we go there, we will specify what servers we are using. As we are using three other servers, we'll copy this and paste it two times. Let's just call the server server1, server2 and server3. Now you have to specify the addresses of your other servers. Find these addresses by going back to Multicraft and selecting those servers. The IP and port will be displayed here. This particular server is mc29.serveminer.com and the port behind it. Do this for all your servers. I now specified the IP addresses of all my servers on the address lines. Again, repeat this for every server you have. Next, you can set the message of the day for all your servers. We'll just put this like MOTD 1, 2 and 3. Alright, so that's our servers configured. Now you can configure these settings. Set the fallback servers to what server you want to be the fallback server. I would recommend this to be your first server. Set your max players to whatever all your servers combined can handle. I'll set this to 1000 right now because it doesn't really matter. For the host IP address, input the IP address of your hub server. In my case, mc20.serverminer.com with port 25642. Tab size defines how much players you can see if you press tab. By default this is 60 and I would recommend keeping it that way. Force default server allows you to choose if players should spawn in the default server every time they connect. I will set this to true because I want to have my players spawn on the first server, which for example can be my lobby. If this is true you need to specify a default server, which I will specify as server 1. This is the MOTD of your bungee server, which you can customize to anything you want. The rest of the options aren't really important and I would recommend keeping them this way. I would also recommend keeping online mode to true. You can put this to false if you want to allow unidentified players or players with a cracked account to connect to your bungee cord server, but we're not gonna do that. Now save your file and upload it back to your FTP. Now before we restart our hub server, we are going to install Bungie Suite. Bungie Suite is an optional set of plugins that allows you to do all sorts of things. Download them via the link in the description. Once you downloaded it, put the bungiesuite.jar file in your plugins folder. Now you can restart your Bungie hub server. Stop it and once it is stopped, start it again. Before we go to our other servers, we are going to have to configure Bungie Suite. As I said before, Bungie Suite is optional, but it's a very useful set of plugins that allows you to put portals and do even more things. For this you will need a MySQL database, so go to your MySQL database and click Create Database. 
Once the database has been created, I would recommend keeping the info open in a tab and going back to your service console. I am now in my hub service console. As you can see, the Bungie Suite setup has started running. This will require me to input the data about my MySQL database into my console. First, it's asking for your uh, database URL. Just put the host address here and press enter. Next, it requires your database name. Paste this from here again and press enter. Then it will ask you for the port. This is the default address. So as it states, that's 3306. Input that and press enter again. Next, it asks for your database username, which is the same as the database name. Finally, it will ask for your database password, which is the key in this field. Paste it here. Now the setup is complete. This means your Bungie Court Hub server is working and it has Bungie Suite installed. Now we can go on to the linked servers. I will demonstrate this with one server, but you can repeat this for any server you want to link to your Bungie Court network. Linked servers can run many jars. I will use Bucket for this example, but you can also run Spigot, which is a performance build of Bucket by the authors of Bungie Court, or other jars. However, for this example, I will choose Bucket Dev 1.6.4. Once you selected your jar, go to your config files, server settings, and set online mode to false. This is a security risk, but there's some ways to work around this, as I will show you in a minute. Now you can start up your server. Please note that since you put your server in offline mode, it is at risk to direct access. This means you should never share the direct IP of your linked servers or cracked players will be able to get on. This is the IP address shown here for every linked server you have. You can work around this by having a port that's less easy to guess, which you can get by asking our support team or having the only proxy join plugin installed, which we will be discussing in a separate video. Repeat this process for any linked servers you have. Finally, we'll be installing some plugins to our linked servers that will allow us to put portals from one server to another using the Bungie Suite plugins. Connect to your linked servers FTP and go to the plugins folder, just like you would on any bucket server. Install World Edit, which is available on Bucket Dev, link will be in the description, and the Bungie Suite portals jar, which is available from the Spigot website, of which a link will also be in the description. Just drag these two jars to your plugins folder. And once you did that, restart your server. Repeat this for any linked servers that you have. Once you install the plugins to all your linked servers, you are ready to connect to your Bungie Cord server network. The IP you should distribute to your players is the IP of the hub server, which in my case is this one. Go into Minecraft and connect to that IP. As you can see, it's showing the message of the day for the default server, which was the first server, and it's showing it can take a thousand players. Just connect to this server. As you can see, it looks like I just regularly joined a Minecraft server. However, there's multiple servers to this network. I can switch between servers using the slash server command. As you can see, it says I can connect to the following servers, server 1, server 2 and server 3, which are the servers we specified in the config file. You can switch by typing slash server, server 2. I now switch to my second server. Of course, you can also type slash server, server 3 to switch to the third server. These are all independent servers, but note I can switch between them flawlessly because of the Bungie Hub server. If you're administrator on your Bungie Court Hub, you can use the slash alert command to broadcast a message to all your servers. This message will be displayed on all of your servers simultaneously. Finally, because we installed World Edit along with the Bungie Suite and Bungie Suite Portals module on all our servers, we can create portals between our servers. To do this, just define a World Edit region.
like this. I now created a portal frame with the world edit region being the region of air. I can now use the slash set portal command along with the portal name, the portal type, which in our case is server. You can also use this to teleport to warp points on another server if you have the Bungie Suite warp module installed. Then input the server name, we'll use server3, and the fill type. You can set this to air, water, lava, web, portal, end portal, or sugarcane. We will use end portal. As you can see, the portal has been created. It looks a bit, bit finicky because the end portal isn't supposed to be displayed that way, but if we walk into it, we will be teleported to our third server. I can use the same procedure here. I created a bigger portal frame here, which I will create into a portal. As you can see, I now created a portal with a bedrock frame and the portal block, which will teleport me back to server 1. And that's basically all there is to setting up a Bungie Cord server network. This is a very powerful tool. If you want to have a lot of players across your servers and you want to offer them a flawless experience while switching between them. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below or open a ticket with our support staff using the link in the description. And as always, don't forget to get your server cheap at serveminer.com. Until the next time.